Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kyla Scott. Tonight we wrap up a months long report about the murders of three women all nine months apart that happened in Monroe more than 40 years ago. Here's NBC 10's Chelsea Monet with this week's Arklamis Most Wanted. Arklamis Most Wanted, sponsored by Coney Island Connection and Chris Lewis. Angie Hill, Kathy Wharton, and Sherry Alford, three women whose murders have all been a mystery for more than four decades. We've gone over the details in each case, pointing out their similarities. Now we turn to law enforcement. What is being done today to hopefully get some answers? All three women were killed in Monroe, but investigations fell under different jurisdictions. Kathy and Sherry's case is being worked by the Washita Parish Sheriff's Office and Angie's by the Monroe Police Department. We spoke to both agencies. Yes, uh, even though they're over 40 years old, like we've discussed before, the cases are being actively investigated at this time. Yeah, it's active. We're actively investigating. We've got a uh, detective assigned to it currently. Yeah. Throughout our report, we spoke to the family's spokesperson, Kevo Meredith, and friend Carol Brown. Their efforts relentless and never wavering. Carol and I both feel like at some point each one of these these young women have spoken to us too. It's so strange, but it's like we really feel like we're on the right track. I'm telling you, Carol has herself experienced some very odd things that she feels like is a sign, and we're just we feel like we're on the right track on the right track as they hope detectives are too with a word of encouragement i would say please stay the course please god stay the course don't 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 get sidetracked both agencies assure us the cases are being worked and they are working together to ensure no stone is left unturned when our detective talks to their lead detective and the, you know I, I communicate with the sheriff's department about this as well to make sure that we work together because they worked together back then and if there's any evidence involved in either side we want to make sure we're running it down correctly we'll take any new lead uh, we've been actively working with the family and we'd ask the public that if anybody has any information even though this is several years ago we will take that and actively investigate that at this time. One may ask, why now, 40 years later? Well, well talking to the family, uh, family members coming forward, and, you know, honestly, it's good to look back on cases like this. Unfortunately, cases, we get so busy following up on everything that's happening today, uh, it's good to revisit cases like this. And as we touched on before, the, the evidence, you know, everything is old. These cases may be old, but not cold. We're looking at over 40 years, and but it is good to revisit it for the family to see if there is anything new with new technology uh, that's coming about every day. Uh, maybe we can, you know, find something. New technology, has new evidence been sent up to the lab recently? Well, there again, I can't, I can't get into that right now because it is an open investigation, but uh, you know, we're trying everything we can and we are working with the family the best we can uh, to get some type, of, to work toward maybe some type of closure. If somebody is still living that did commit this, that's not in jail, we wanna make sure that we get those people behind bars and, and through the justice system as quickly as we can. We're not giving up on investigating the case. Detectives will do their work and so will the advocates of these three women. We're not going away. We're not going to let this lie. On these ladies does not stop here. Join us Wednesday, June 12th at 9:30 p.m. on our sister station, Fox 14, for a 30-minute Arklamis Most Wanted special for a more in-depth report on these cases for Arklamis Most Wanted. I'm Chelsea Mone. For local fugitives that have been captured, be sure to pick up a copy of the Justified newspaper at your local convenience.